Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another Assassin's Creed Origins video. This video, we are going to be looking at the scene where you unlock the Isu armor in Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, this is kind of like the main collectible finish sort of armor you get. So, you head underneath the Sphinx, behind it there's a hole, and you go through a tomb under there. First, there's just the Sphinx tomb itself, and then you find your way into an Isu temple. Now, when you go in to said Isu temple, you find yourself at a strange location with the roof that has like shining lights going down on it. Now, to get through that area, you have to have done all 12 of the stargazing side locations. So, the first one is in uh, Siwa. So that's kind of how you unlock the quest to go find all 12 and then you, you know, you go around, you have to connect the constellations uh, and that stone markings to the stars themselves. Once you've done all 12, you can move forward through that location in the Sphinx tomb. Now, to actually unlock the armor itself and activate the pillars, you need to get 50 silica. Now, those are collectible items that you can only find, I shouldn't say only find, but you mostly find inside tombs and also Isu temples. There's five Isu temples that aren't the Sphinx one that are connected to five of the tombs. So, you find those by just completing a tomb and at the end, there's like usually some side gap you can go through. Sometimes you can miss these Isu ones and actually leave and not realize there's a side way and you end up inside an Isu temple where there's heaps of silica in it and you get certain messages and markings. So you actually have to spend five silica to unlock any of the messages at the end of an Isu temple. And at least most of them you have to activate it to even get out. So there's plenty more than 50 silica around these tombs if you do all the tombs. Like I still had, after doing all the activations in Isu temples and doing all 50, I still had like 11 silica around. So it's not like you have to get this exact amount. Just make sure when you're going through a tomb, you're always making sure you're checking uh, where the silica is and you're not just running around trying to directly find the end of the tomb. You know, you're spending time trying to get all the loot along the way. So once you get all the silica, then you can activate the final pillar and it gives you a full-on message and the Isu armor. So I'll let you listen and view the scene where you unlock that Isu armor and they do the big monologue um, that happens at the end of these Isu temples. And then I'll just show off uh, the armor a bit. So I'll leave you guys here with this. So I hope you enjoyed it, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video seeing that scene. Just remember, all 12 of the stargazing locations, 50 silica that you find in tombs. I found a couple in the desert here and there, but it's pretty rare. And then you can unlock this armor under the Sphinx. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon for more Assassin's Creed Origins content. Retransmission, segment 6. Acquiring contemporary name. It has been 109 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. Wake up. Not from a dreamless sleep or an absence of light, but from a reality that will soon cease to be. Wake up. This chapter is unstoppable. And yet, the greatest revolutions sometimes originate from the confines of impossibility, do they not? Change your mind, subvert your perception, stop this world, bend it into something new. Destiny is not without irony. Here I am, imploring a lesser version of myself to do what I could never do. In this timeless moment, you and I are a bridge, both of us from different eras meeting halfway at the narrowing of the hourglass in this ocean of sand. It is not enough to tell time. You must learn time. To work with your shelly Mrs. East, and in so doing, escape the inescapable. Fill in the blanks, the ones hiding between words, between worlds. Find the spaces that we could not erase, the variables that ended up erasing us. If you
you do not, they will erase you as well. Time told of a story that ended with us, and now it tells of a story that ends with you. Once upon a time, a new story will begin. After the functions which run our days have scattered into an array of random numbers. We found solace in order. We thought it would help us rule the world. We were wrong. Order never served us. It has kept us within the code, within the boundaries. We were tricked into thinking we were the ones writing the rules when they were in fact guiding us to our conclusion. You need to transgress. You of all people understand the value of disobeying. Take an unexpected turn away from the path that is drawn straight ahead of you. The Animus was humankind's first unconscious attempt to explain what it could not see. Understanding genetic memories, an eye into history. But the Animus bears a fatal flaw. It follows the rules from those who embrace order, just as we do. It allows you to witness, but not alter. Your Animus is different, as is the mind that imagined it. It could escape the code. It could do that leap and make possible a decision that defies the order of things that are. Wake up. Be the chaos that comes to be. Gods are just like you and me. Remember. Nothing is real. Everything is permitted.